Hello, I wanted to make a video about WD and their warnings on Synology systems. So many people are asking questions, scared, what's going on? You get a warning, do I need to replace the driver? What drives are affected? What NASs or systems are affected and things like that. So I'll try to go through these questions and answer them so just to calm me down. So what happened actually it was a few months ago when someone actually made the first post about power on hours that we get the warning system saying that you need to replace the driver. He says he runs smart tests and everything comes back fine, but there is that warning which can't, you know, doesn't go away. And then a short while later, there was another post coming through again, similar from Andrew. He also made it public that his smart tests, what system he's using, what DSM. So the indicator is DSM seven. Um, and he's using WD red drives. So what he was getting, he was getting a warning in storage manager. Uh, and when you go to WDDA tab, it tells you that this drive has been running for that long that you're supposed to be considering replacing the drive. There's not too much of information. Is it dangerous? Is it not? Do you actually have to replace it or not? But this is the message he got. So what is WDDA? This is an internal checkup system on the drive itself. So it goes through the things like physical damages, recommendations, how many hours it's been running, how many unload cycles. These are all of the things you can actually find on PDFs, on the spec sheets on every single drive, either it's WD or Seagate. But you will see things like um, how many hours per year it's made to run, how many load unload cycles it's made for. So it could be 600,000, 1 million, 2 million. So it could, how many times the head can move forwards and backwards and um, how many mean times between uh, failures there is. So like a rating, how reliable this drive is, could be million, 2 million. What's the workload rate? terabytes per year, how many terabytes you can actually write to this drive every year. So based on that, you will get a warranty, either three years or five years. And both WD and Seagate have these, these things. Seagate actually mentions power on hours, 8,760 per year. Some of the drives like Barracudas are made to run half of the year, desktop sort of drives. So what exactly the warning says and you need to pay attention. It's not an error, it's just a warning. So it says, you have used this drive for so many hours and you're supposed to be considering to replace, to consider replacing it. Because based on power and hours, we delivered what we promised on the spec sheet. So it's all down to you now. Do you want to carry on using this drive or not? Obviously, this drive can last much longer than that. But if you are in a scenario like a data center, accountancy systems, um, virtual machines, whatever you run, which is so crucial that you want to avoid rebuilding times and things like that, and this Synology new DSM updates, rebuild is not happening in the same fashion as it used to be. It's much quicker and more efficient. So it's very, inf in very crucial information for you in some cases. But in some cases, you can just ignore it. So the question, what does that warning mean? And what all these warnings mean in, uh, in Synology system. So there are four sort of options. Status is healthy drive, which means everything is fine. Nothing needs to be done. Then there's a warning like this. That means you may need to pay attention, but in case of warning, they recommend you to run a smart test, which will actually show, is there any physical damages or not on the drive? And if there is not, you're good to go, you're just fine. And they are critical, that means there are some damages on the drive because hard drives are wearing out slowly. But every time there is some blocks unusable, those, those blocks are isolated, but you can use the rest of the drive. And then there's failing status, which means this drive is not usable anymore, it just disconnect and you need to put, replace that with a new drive. So the rebuild process can take place and, and then you get back to normal again with a new drive. So these are the things you're supposed to do in every single status. 
in the case of the these statuses. So what drives are affected, if you can actually call it affected, I would say what drives do have this ability for these internal checks to run on this drive itself. And Snorgy mentions WD Red Pro 12 terabytes, 12 terabyte uh, plus drive and purple 8 terabyte, but they are not maintaining this list. I was digging a little bit and I could see that there are other drives as well with these features on. So some people report um, WD 6 terabyte on DSM 7, DS2, 2 and 8, 12 terabyte red, 6 terabyte red, and then also Seagate drives with their own Iron Wolf health management, which is similar to this. Also their internal checks available. So some people ask who is to blame, WD or Synology? So how Synology is handling this issue? So Angie, Angie actually sent an email to Synology saying what to do. And Synology said that he needs to talk to WD to resolve this, which is not helpful at all. It's okay, because if he goes to WD and WD says, run the smart test, smart test comebacks are, uh, comebacks are uh, okay. So there's no issue with the drive whatsoever. It's just that this power on hours number has been exceeded, but there's nothing wrong with the drive. So in that case, there should be option in, in Synology, in DSM, to click and, and, and change the status to okay, that there's nothing wrong with the drive, but there is no such thing. And um, if WD comes back with okay status, there is nothing you can do on Synology. You still need to live with this silly warning. So I would say that there's Synology to blame because hard drive did its internal checks, came back to operating system DSM saying that these are the things you may need to pay attention or may not. This is just a warning. You handle this and DSM is not handling these things. So I would say DSM is there to blame, not WD for just communicating with operating system because more communication is there more beneficial or this symbiotic relationship it is you know so if Synology choose to ignore WT messages it's Synology to blame so is QNAP another NAS is affected no that's the DSM thing with QNAP they are smart, smart enough to understand that this is only information from a drive you can set action plans for certain statuses in, in QNAP but QNAP will only take seriously smart checks where the physical damage is happening, not information, all sorts of things. And the last thing, should I disable WD, DA, or, you know, should we stick with DSM-6? Or how to even disable uh, WD, DA? So I would say, if you want to go with DSM-6, if you are run this already in the one upgrade, that could be option, DSM-6 doesn't have this silly uh, feature uh, and um, but you need to remember that it will be outdated soon DSM 7 will take over and DSM 6 will not get updates to it anymore so that's not a good option really in the long term should you disable WDDA I would say no Synology should communicate better with drives this is the extra information as I said and this can be crucial in some sort of scenarios most of the cases in home use, it's, it might be not important, but in serious business solutions, this extra information can actually help you. And if you're wondering how to disable WDDA, so here is um, Dave who shared his command saying that this is what you can run in SSH to disable it. So I hope this video was calming you down because I saw so many people stressed and worried about their data and their drives. So just to reassure, this is just a warning. I hope Synology learns a lesson and updates the DSM, stop pushing their own drives agenda because based on all this propaganda, <laughs> people might be considering buying Synology drives because there's less hassle with them. But remember that internal checks like WD um, internal checklists or WD or Seagate Health Management um, software on the drive is very crucial. Synology drives do not offer this, but other brands do. So do not ignore this. And I hope this video was 
in some sh shape or form helpful. If you have any questions, go and ask them. There's, there's a form you can fill or you just ask questions in the comments and community or us, we will help you with that. Cheerio.